Hello everyone, welcome back. I found a comic book collection locally on Facebook. Thanks to some good friends, um, shout out Tracy, shout out Brett, thanks for hooking your boy up. I was able to get a lead on a comic book collection locally. So I haven't really talked about this before, but it's super important to let everybody you know that that you're into comic books. If you have any desire to buy collections or you know, pick up books uh, in that kind of regard, you need to let people know that you're into this stuff. So unfortunately, this is kind of a sad story on a couple fronts, but it is something important to talk about because this is likely something you will encounter if you ever have the opportunity to pick up a comic book collection. So I got the lead on this, like I said, from Facebook. Um, a friend of mine, a former co-worker, messaged me, said, hey, this, this lady, her husband, unfortunately, had passed away just last year, and she was selling his comic book collection. So I instantly jump up, um, and I say, who is it? Where is it? What's going on? It was around midday, um, and it was on a day I wasn't working, so I was very available. She sends me the picture, and this is what I'm seeing right off the bat. So if we take a look at the picture, automatically your brain should go towards this is a 90s comic book collection. And if we know anything, 90s comic book collections are definitely out there and some of the most highly printed books ever. But the reason this really caught my interest is if you take a look in the back, and you guys may have already seen it, is that ASM number 316, Amazing Spider-Man 316, the first cover appearance of Venom. Great Todd McFarlane cover, classic cover to be honest. That pink background. Couple things jump off right here. One, the person didn't put that book in the front of the picture. So right off the bat, that lets me know this person might not know exactly what they have. So that means that this collection has not been dug through, it's not been picked through. Also, there's a possibility of getting a great deal on this. Another thing that jumps right off the uh, right off the page, there's no bags and boards on anything. So, right off the bat, condition is going to be an issue. And just looking at that 316, I can already kind of see it looks a little dirty. Like that yellow looks a little dirty. So, so right off the bat, I don't know what the condition of these books are. But my brain starts turning. You know, the gears start firing. You know what? what could be in here and this is like kind of an interesting thought experiment of if you're going to be interested in a comic book collection is it worth your time because if you see a big stack of bronze and silver age books it's like obviously you're going to go check that out but when it's 90s you know is it really worth it all right so the next step is we gotta we gotta contact this lady try to set something up so I message her and I'll show you guys my communication with her. I said, hey, I'm interested in the comic. She says, hello, when can you come look? I said, today. Like I said, I was available that day. I wasn't working. Uh, she said, what time? I said, what time is best for you and where do you want me to meet you? Um, just kind of confirming that I worked with the person that's referring me to her. Um, just so she knows I'm not like a random creeper dude. And uh, I'm saying I can meet anytime today I'm free now so literally I was willing to to get over there right now so as I'm typing this I'm, I'm thinking you know I don't want to sound too eager which I obviously do sound too eager on this um, but that's something that you may want to be hesitant of because you leave yourself open for exploitation in that regard a lot of the time she says, I will let you know, I have a bunch of errands to run and you're second in line. So I'm like, what does that mean? So I look back on the original Facebook post and you should see how many people are already commenting on this. Like people are referring other people, people are tagging people. I'm like, oh my God, th this is, this is not good. You know, I, I, there's like, there's other dudes on there. They're like, Hey, I'm interested. And I'm like, I, I don't got a chance. I don't even got a chance in this. She says, I think the first person is coming around five. I'm actually on my way to a dentist appointment. I'll message you shortly. Well, that was around at like one. The next messages, the next message I send is around five o'clock because she didn't message me back. I said, all I said was I would be competitive with any offer you receive for the collection because 
I don't know what's about to happen here. You know, if I was selling something or I had something that people wanted, and obviously there was a lot of interest in it from all the Facebook messages, I'd be shopping around. He just got them all. I'm sorry I didn't see this sooner. My husband passed away and I'm finding things I never knew he had. I'll let you know if I come across any more. At this point, I'm like mad because I'm like, did I even have a chance to, to get this? Like, did I even have a chance to look at this? And I'm thinking like, take a step back. You know, she's probably don't, doesn't want to deal with this anymore. She wants to be done with this. Um, but at the same time, I'm like, I obviously showed a lot of interest in this. I would I, I would have made a good offer. You know, what the heck? I was mad. I said, I would have paid more. I wish I could have at least seen them. And she says, I'm so sorry. So let's talk about what could have been. What could have been in there? So I kind of already touched on this. It's, it's 90s type comics. We know ASM 316 was in there. What could have been in there? Amazing Spider-Man 300, all those keys from like 298, um, all the way to 361, because you've got all the, the Todd McFarlane stuff. You've got the first true appearance of Venom. Uh, you know, you've got first Carnage, second Carnage, third Carnage, all those McFarlane books. Those are all great. You could have had the Spawn issues, probably very early Spawn, um, possibly newsstand. I did see some newsstands in there. You know, you've got the Death and Return of Superman keys and all those, like first uh, Doomsday and all that. Batman Adventures 12 could have been in there. Uh, we, we you, you know, you could have had the first Harley Quinn. Um, that was a little bit later but it could have been there. New Mutants 98 and 87. Those are very, I mean, those are very highly likely to be in there. Uh, first Deadpool, first Cable, like I said. Hulk 340 in those, those that, that Todd McFarlane um, Hulk run, that could have been there. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 118, first Scarlet Spider, and Web of Spider-Man 1 could have been there, as well as that Todd McFarlane Spider-Man number one and its variants. X-Men 266 could have been there, first True Gambit. And Vengeance of Bane, first appearance of Bane could have been there, and Midnight Suns. And as I'm like recounting all of these things that could have been, it... It becomes even more depressing because it's like, man, I would have at least liked to seen it. And it was frustrating because I wanted to, you know, make a video of this. This this is something that I know you guys want to watch and I love making these of, you know, on the hunt, finding collections. Because let's just face facts, I haven't found many collections recently and it's kind of been a bummer because... I really enjoy doing that. I, I love sorting through things, finding hidden treasure... That, that's what I like doing. Um, if I look back, is there something I could have done differently? Could could this have worked out better in my favor? I, I don't know. I, I think that that lady was just trying to get rid of those books. Um, and I don't blame her. You know, that, that becomes an emotional thing. You see the books. You think of your husband. Um, I just, if it was me and I had something, I would be shopping around a little bit. After all this was over, I went up to my wife and I said, if I kick the bucket, don't just sell to the first guy. Because it's like, you know, I, I was like, it, it was like a moment of like, dang, you know, I mean, she just sold his books off so quick. And who, who knows how much she, she sold them for. Um, I, I got $200 cash out of the ATM ready to go. Um, that was what. I was willing to spend. I, I don't know what what would you have guys what what would you guys have got out of the the ATM to bring with you for that? Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.